Hey guys, Hamiko here, and today I will be doing another Halloween video. A creepy doll kind of look. I can't even see if that's in the picture. Yes, okay. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm going to start off with the outfit. Um, I'm just wearing a dress uh, on Halloween. I'm going to be wearing some tights with it and a jacket because I know that it can get quite cold on Halloween. Um, so yeah, basically that's the whole outfit. I'm just wearing school shoes with it. Um, okay, so for the hair, I just put my hair in a bun and instead of gripping back all of the hair, I just let it hang down because, um, I don't know, it feels like giving it like a creepy, messy kind of vibe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So for the makeup, you can just do your regular makeup and um, routine, except I want you to look just like you gotta look flawless and do red lipstick. I did red lipstick. Of course, you don't have to do red set lipstick. You don't have to do any of this, but I'm just telling you what I think would be best. And um, I've also put some um pink on my cheeks, make them stand out. <laughs> Um, because dolls always have that kind of really in your face kind of look. It's like I'm flawless, but I've got really rosy red cheeks. So, yeah. Anyway, so um, what I will be doing in this little tutorial thing, I will be showing you how to make your doll more creepy. Okay, so we're going to do the scars. Because this little doll has been broken a couple of times. Um, okay, so um, first of all, I'm just going to take a quite a dark kind of skin colour brown kind of colour. <laughs> um, and basically we're just going to mark off where we want a crack in our skin to be. What's going to happen is we're going to wipe off the makeup there. So just mark out. And I recommend it be quite rigid. Like a crap doll. She's had a bit cracked off. And had a new piece replaced. Don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. I kind of still don't know if you can see it, but I'm a bit close to the light. Um, okay, so now all we're going to do around there is try and make it look a bit irritated and sore. So first we're going to start off with a pinky kind of colour. And just blend it out with the brown around the area. I'm going to be using like different shades of pink. Just to make it look more natural. Um, it will make it harder to see, but the result of it will be awesome. So, Almost done. There. So 
So now we're going to go over it with a red sort of colour, like pale red. I don't know if you can see that. And then we're just going to go around it with quite a thick brush. But we're just going to mark it in a line. So you're kind of like remarking it again, but this time with red. Um, so now we're going to go on to proper kind of like fire red. If you can see that properly. Um, and then it's again we're just going to go round it. Okay, and then we're going to kind of use it to blend it again. Okay, now I'm just going to go and blend this bit more, um, and then I will be back with you in a minute. 